Gloucester. And today we have another question, and it's quite a quite an interesting question here about uh, personal finance. Um, so how do you manage your personal finance? And I know some of you are really young, so I don't know if you if you have pocket money, maybe that you manage. So that will be, I suppose, your personal finance. Uh, but I'd like to know a bit more and uh, what you think of this, or maybe even if you're this, you know, if you don't have personal finances now, how you are planning on managing them when you get older. So can I have Arush to begin with? Arush, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? My name is Arush Kumar. I study in class 4F. My school, sorry, 5F. My school name is Delhi Public School, Mega City, Kolkata. And my favorite hobbies are playing, singing, and dancing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Arush. And what did you do today? Today, first of all, the morning, so six, six o'clock, then I went to school, then I came back, then I was playing for some time, then I joined school to 7 30 online classes, and I'm joining my class now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Arush. <laughs> and Let's move on to today's questions. So how do you manage personal finance? What kind of personal finance do you have right now? Create an, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell some points. Create mm -hmm. an emergency fund. Use credit cards wisely. Consider your family. Your budget is key to success. It is the tool that will give you the most control of your financial future your budget is the your budget is the key to achieving the rest of your plan building an emergency fund uh -huh. sorry emergency fund is another key factor in financial success and stress thank you and addiction thank you, thank you very and addiction. Thank you very much. So that so how Thank do you, you so if I, if you so when you start making money in the future, how are you going to do this? How how are you going to to manage it? Uh, first, I will create I will create a financial personal finance account. I don't know how uh, mm -hmm. there, there is an account or not. So okay, I will, I will follow these points. And my father says you should you should only use credit card because debit cards anytime it will just give you a, like it will just bunk you that okay I will work and then and then after some time you will see that your money has not given to that shopkeeper. Okay, if very you good. Something is done, but the money doesn't uh, cut from your bank from your credit debit card. Okay. Okay. So the most. Okay. Debit card because lots of people use debit card and they have a problem that their money has been not paid, and they will they sometimes also get caught. I so see. I you're very you're very well informed about this. You're very well informed. Because okay. My father has two points. On like mm -hmm. one day, uh, he was looking on, looking on his bank account. I asked, what, is, what are you looking, father? Then he said, I am looking in my ba bank account. So, so, sorry for the background noise. And then, and then he said that bring a bring a rough copy. I will, I will uh, just dictate some of the things from bank from the bank mm -hmm. which I have did, and you you can write it. So I have written that my father told me that this much money you have before when you when you do use credit card, debit card, this money goes to the shopkeeper or to a mall. Uh -huh. and he told me every day, everything, every single point. Okay. There's a if... picture of Kevin which I which I know like my father or But I I don't I I forgot to write down. Okay. Like for credit cards, debit cards, you have a pin, like right? Like, yes. Like, a, like for example, lots of people know zero zero. So lots of banks are just caught. 
No, so okay. we should never keep like this. And our father kept unique. He never keeps the same. All of these. Okay. Thank you. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Arush. And what about right now? Do you have any personal finances that right now? Do you do you have any no, pocket no, money? No, no, ma'am. I have a bank account, but it is under it under my father's control and it is parental control. And I only have thousand rupees in that bank account. And I never <laughs> use that. Okay. Thank you very much, I Arush. I have my own bank account, but my father right now he is my parent. So he controls it. Controls it, right? Yeah, and I never. He said that when you will be eighteen plus, then, uh, then you will, you can use, then you can use by yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Arush. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Okay. Next, we have Bisman. Hi, Bisman. Hello, ma'am. Hello. So, Visman, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Good evening, everyone. I am Visman Kaur. I live in Bhubaneswar. I study in Lorila School. I am in Class 8. I like to do cycling and do Mangala art. And about my today's day, it was again a very hot and humid day. Today's day started at 9.30. I woke up and I got freshened up. I had my breakfast and then I started for my self-studies. After it got completed, it was almost time for my lunch. And after my lunch, I was just scrolling YouTube. After that, um, I, I just went out for some grocery shopping. Then I came back. And then um, I just went to play with my friends. I came back by 6.30. And then um, I was watching television. And then I joined today's class. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so can you tell me, um, how do you manage, how, well, how do you manage finances right now and how do you plan to manage them in the future so ma'am it said that money can't buy happiness neither poverty can buy happiness but still we should know how to manage happiness uh, manage money because it's it's really important to manage your money as per the budget if i think of going to a starbucks but i have a pocket of 400 rupees i cannot so it's really important to see your budget so it's it's really important to first manage your money. So yes, yeah. Ma, so it's like it's really uh, important that you manage your money. So um, so it's like I get a pocket money of four hundred rupees every a month. It's like every week I get a hundred rupee by my father, and it's like I like I gather them together. So it's like most of the time when we go out, it's like uh, my father pays for it but if it's any victory like recently i got like i was the uh, junior captain so everyone asked me like my sibling my parents asked me to give me treat so we went for a small treat like an ice cream treat or like um um for like ice cream or a keventers we went to keventers or any small treat which can be like affordable and i can give also like by my own pocket so that happens for me so i don't use my own money for a lot of things but like recently i wanted uh, some like puppets from hamless so it was like my uh, like um my parent it was really costly so my parents said if you want you can buy it from your own money so when i well, like so many so much money will be out from my pocket then i feel like it's fine if i don't get it also so it was like that for me and yeah um for my future uh, it's like i have no plans for my future i'll see like uh, how will i uh, manage my money for the future okay okay thank you very much uh bisman thank you ma'am and next we have shamali hi shamali Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, so, Shamali, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Okay. So, my name is Sharbili Sarwani and I'm from Pravidas, Uttar Pradesh, India. And I'm 19 years old. I'm a college-going student. I'm doing BCom this year. And my hobbies are dancing, playing video games, interacting with people, and singing. And for today's day, it was a good day because I have uh, when I woke up, I had my brunch, then had my studies, then my student came, I have to talk to them, then I had my, uh, then I had to go with the counselors, then my teacher came, and mm -hmm. then I just got for a walk, and I just got in the class. 
Very good. Excellent. Um, so, Shamali, can you tell us about what you do to manage your personal finances and uh, what, maybe what you plan to do in the future and if you have any plans like that? For now, I'm earning a little bit, so I'll just manage my like, uh, extra expenses, like I have my, I, if I want to buy something, new technology and all, so I personally manage those and my brothers too. And for the academic so expenses, my father always take care of that. If there's emergency, so that I can use it for. And for in future, I believe that uh, uh, if I'm getting a job in a particular uh, position, if I'm earning well enough to manage all the expenses, then I will take care of my me and my brother first. Then I will support my family towards it. Okay, very good, excellent. And do you have any tips that you that that you are thinking about, or maybe tips that you heard about um, managing personal finance? Yes, I just think that uh, we should keep a small amount in emergency because you can't uh, predict future, and in future you need a lot of things that comes indirectly without knowing to you. So it's a good thing to provide a little bit of fund for the future investment so you can just go towards it. And because there's such, I'm a student and sometimes my teacher told me to buy something new or a new book for just to saying it for just so I just can't go for my place again and again for the book. They also, uh, they also uh, seem like that you don't study at all. Then why don't, why you need so much of books or so much of, new things again and again so we can't go again and again for our personal things now for i feel like so i mm -hmm. think to i eventually uh, at least small amount you have to invest in like future funds without expecting that you should always cut off from your salary uh, and uh, this is the thing i want to share with excellent very good excellent thank you very much shamali um Next, we'll move on to Samikia. Hi, Samikia. Hello, ma'am. Hi, Samikia. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. My name is Samikia Sandrakana. I'm studying in class 8 in San Vincent Convent School, and I'm living in India at Odisha. Thank you. Today, I woke up at uh, 6.30. Then I have my studies to do, so I completed my studies at 8 o'clock, then I then I uh, go do my morning routine. So I completed my morning routine. Then I ate my, and then I ate my breakfast. After that, um, after that, I I have I again uh, go for my studies. Then after doing some of my tuition uh, tuition uh, homework, so I slept for a while because I was uh, tired a little bit. So after waking up, I I have to again do studies. So I uh, I completed all those things and then I take my lunch. After taking my lunch, I have some uh, maths two questions of my, I have two doubts. So I am trying to solve those questions, but I was unable to solve two, those two questions. So after that, uh, after some time, my tuition teacher came uh, at five o'clock. My tuition was there, so he helped me in solving those two questions. And then he. Then my tuition ends up at seven o'clock. Then I was watching mobile phone for a while. Then I joined your class. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, so can you tell us how do you manage personal finances right now? And uh, how are you planning to manage them in the future? Uh, presently, for my personal finance, that is my pocket money, not anything big like bank account but i am i'm getting pocket money right now for one of one month i'm getting only 100 rupees because it was started with my previous year only my father told me if you will if the pocket money is used most uh, if the pocket money you are using for many things if you are using for men, buying many things and your pocket money is going to uh, complete it so i will rise up pocket money to 200 but but presently you have uh, i'm giving you 100 rupees so i have 100 rupees for one month oh, I, i'm just using my pocket money for buying my stationery and and my snacks if i need some snacks in the, during the evening so i used to buy because because i want to eat so i use the i use my money to buy snacks because if i will ask my parents so they will tell you are eating your snacks so you can buy in on your own on your pocket money so 
because it's five to ten rupees now so i can buy it okay so for all those things i am buying i'm using my pocket money and to and to buy a big uh, because i like to do colorings and uh, paintings and all those things so so to buy a big uh, price or so uh, so thinking of 500 rupees of uh, of a thing so i i need to wait for five months but but as i am not uh, I, because i am not um, just wasting my money on many of buying all those stuff which i don't like so like pop it i don't like to i don't like to buy all those things or the stuff toys i don't want to buy all those things so my money is being uh, uh reserved in my pocket money in my purse uh, so so i can buy that so that i can buy my things to do all to do to necessary things i can buy okay and, very good yes yes, Samik? Ma yes ma and for future for future, uh, future finance or personal finance all those things i haven't decided yet because i'm not at that age of being so after i will go at that age, so i will try to think of those things very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Samikia. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so next we have Sanjana. Hi, Sanjana. Hello, Sanjana. Hi, ma'am. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, so Sanjana, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, ma'am. I'm Sanjana. I'm from Tamil Nadu, Paramalur. I'm studying 7th standard in Raj Vidyabhavan Metric High Secondary School. Mm -hmm. In Turayur, my hobbies are drawing, painting, and reading books. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. And can you tell us, uh, what did you do today? Um, today, I wake up at uh, 7 o'clock and uh, I read for my exams. I revision, uh, I revisioned for my exams. and I, I revised? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I revised okay. for my exams and I go to school and I went to school and I wrote exams and uh, the question paper is very easy. Mm -hmm. And I came to my home and I eat some snacks and I I do my I do some works. I do one pencil shading and uh, I joined your class now. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Sanjana. Okay. So Sanjana, how do you how will you manage personal finance? And do you do any managing of personal finance right now? I probably think probably not, but yes. <laughs> tell us. Mom, I use the saving box in this oh, time. Okay. Yes. Um, I I asked my father, I and my brother also using one saving box to save money. Uh, I asked my father every day, I get 30 rupees. I save that money. I don't uh, take and use for that. I use that money for useful things. I don't use for uh, pocket money also. In mm -hmm. my school, th that pocket money is not allowed, ma'am. So that I don't use that money. I used for that money for future. Okay. Ma'am, next, um, next thing, uh, my parents mm -hmm. saving. Well, next, next thing, uh, my parents saving money in banks, in my bank account. They are, uh, they are give the money for one one month. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I think a thousand rupees. One month, uh, they give thousand rupees for. Okay my future plan okay excellent very good very good and do you have anything else that you'd like to do in the future sanjana to manage your finances no mom this is the only thing to do that 
Okay, very good. Okay, Bisman, um, did you have something else that you wanted to add? Uh, yes, ma'am. So I feel like many people say that um, being a girl, I always we rely on a parent's pocket money. But uh, as Sharmili said that she wants to work and get the money to help her parents. It's like, I feel like now everyone wants to work and not to rely on their parents' money. Still, it's like it's said always that a girl is relied on the parents' money. So I feel like it's like it's changed now that always I also feel like I shouldn't be dependent on my parents money always so it's like whenever I get some money from my relatives like try to keep it save it and they given a big amount like a thousand rupees so I feel attractive to some cloth that I want to buy and I go attractive to it and buy it so like that only I feel like instead we should save it and it's really good if you save your money for the emergency purpose because it's really good like maybe in your family some emergency purpose comes like when your family is in a really tough trouble like it happened like uh, in with uh, with my friend she was uh, like her family got COVID positive and her father's job was out because like a day ago only her father's job was out and he couldn't get the month's fee a month salary so she used her money to save his family it was really like she didn't belong to a really low family she was a middle class fan but due to covid situation it's like everything got puzzled they got covid positive so what happened like she and i'll say she used all her money to save her family and it was really like emo, like everyone got emotional that it was really good like uh, uh like everyone in the, like um like she said that when she went to her village and said that uh, like her mother was saying like that and everyone was like yeah the generation is changing now girls girls also can save a family because earlier it was said that a boy can only save a family so it was really like it was really proud moment for every girl to see that we can also do really good things for the family it's like it's really safe to be in your budget and know how to manage your money it said it's your five senses only if you don't know how to uh, like uh, manage your money it's really difficult to survive thank you thank you very much Bisman. that was a very good example excellent um does anyone else have anything else to share to comment or maybe you have another experience that you've heard about Anyone would like to add anything before we carry on? Yes, ma'am, I want to like yes. to say something. Like if we are earning too much or something, we are earning less, we should do, donate some amount or some percentage every month or every year to the needy people. It's very helpful. That is true, very true. Um, if you are earning quite a bit, you should always put aside for those less fortunate. Um, because it's a case of you know being um, empathic and thinking you know what if it was me in their yes, in their shoes but ma'am these days if i say like if uh, if we say that if i earn a thousand rupees uh, if i earn ten thousand also my expenses will be on always the like that much only so it's really difficult to get out some money for the charity also so these days you'll see like rich people also seeing beggars face don't give a penny also to them but because if you ask them the reason they'll say if i earn ten thousand nine thousand is my like my expenditure and one thousand is for me so like in nine thousand you don't use like a penny for yourself it's like all for your family it's like nine thousand is like included in your expenditures also so it's like one thousand you can donate or do charity for it but people say that it's like how much you earn is less, but it never leave a charity or a religious right behind you. Like it's like it's really important that you do some charity. It said that whatever you give to someone is given back to you at some other case. And we have always heard this by our grandparents that you have you should always give to a beggar that will get returned to you by any of the cases because it's really good. Because if you are in that case, it's really difficult to survive without clothes or all torn clothes don't have any food to eat and it's it's so mercy that seeing a little child a mom picking her 10 year like 10 months child and walking the street just for money because she cannot work also because she has to feed her child also at the same time so it seems like so mercy that that uh, her, her husband can also not earn that much so we should give her something because 
she is like roaming in such hot weather also or else we feeling so hot in an uh, air conditional room also so it's really like feel sad for the one who really okay thank you very much excellent okay well done so uh, let's quickly just look at a few points OK, and I'd like you to uh, think about these. And if you have anything um, that you'd like to share or anything you'd like to comment on this, um, please do. So we have the top uh, personal finance strategies. Uh, so these were given by some finance experts. OK, uh, first of all, devise a budget. OK, um, and they usually say 50, 30 and 20. So 50 percent is you, what you take home. 30 is for expenses and 20 is towards the future. OK, the second is create an emergency fund. Then we have limit debt. Use credit cards wisely with which Arush spoke about. Monitor your credit score. Consider your family. So this is again about uh, what Bisman was saying, you know, thinking of others. Um, pay off student loans. This is for, of course, any students. Plan and save for retirement, something that you guys don't think about right now, obviously, because you're still so young. Uh, maximize tax breaks. This is about um, any taxation. Give yourself a break. And some principles. So you always must prioritize, assess, and also restrain. Okay, so you have to there's a certain amount of discipline and control um, with obviously handling your personal finances okay so um, these are just some points that i wanted to give to you uh, would anyone like to add any final comments anything at all okay guys so Thank you very much for, you know, expressing what you do with your money right now and what you are planning for sharing what you're planning to do in the future. Um, as you can see, it is very important to plan ahead. Um, like Bisman said, a story like that where you save up, you really save up for a rainy day because a rainy day could be just around the corner. Unfortunately, we do live in a very unstable um un unstable society where anything can go wrong um so it's always nice to have that little peace of mind um so well done guys um and you're all seem very uh, smart and uh very level-headed and knowing what to do with your money so thank you very much for sharing your ideas and i look forward to seeing you again next week have a happy weekend and i'll see you next time goodbye Bye. Bye, mom. Bye. Bye. Bye.